So today I'm going to show you how to install 24 pound injectors in any new Edge Mustang 99-04. But before I do that I have to move around the parking lot of a driveway I have. Everything that you're going to need for this, you're going to need 24 pound injectors, you're going to need EV6 to EV1 adapters, you're going to need a 7 millimeter drive socket or a 7 millimeter socket and a flathead screwdriver, and you're going to need a tuner with a tune so you don't flood your engine with fuel. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to install them. Alright. So first you want to do is grab your flathead, you're going to come over here and undo your ground for your fuel rail, but come in here, hopefully you guys can see that alright. Try not to drop the screw, there we go, pull that ground out of the way. Put that in a safe spot. Grab your 7mm ratchet. Take off the front bolt. Don't lose the screw. Put it in a safe spot. Now you should be able to just pop them up with a little wiggle. And you might get a little gas on the ground, or not on the ground, but on your car. Don't worry about it. Oh, did I miss one? Sometimes it might be a little stuck. You just gotta give them a little bit of a wiggle. There's three. Now he's got one more. So you unplug all these, mm -hmm. all the connectors on the side, then you just give them a slight wiggle. This won't probably be the worst, and it just pops out. You kind of see that one, and it's kind of chewed up on the side right there. It has a bunch of sand, because my car is a little dirty in the engine bay, so I'll have a little bit of sand in it. You just pull them all out. It's diff they're different though, right? They're just, these are fatter. Yeah, that was the one I replaced last summer, because my, my car was misfiring. Oh, you can kind of see how dirty that one is. Is dirty. So that was the that was the one I put in last summer because I was misfiring. These are the factory ones from 2000 okay. water. Right. Okay. So all you do is just pull all four of these out on this side. So I come over here for the new ones, grab the new ones, plug in my adapter uh -huh. so I can get it in. Top. Okay. Just push it all the way in, make sure it clips. Uh -huh. Take this, slide it in. It really doesn't take that long, huh? Mm -mm. Just push it in, got it. Okay. There it is. Now just slid into place with a little bit of force. That's it? Yeah. So cool. to, yeah, you got to push it in solid so it gets a good seal, so you don't want oil splashing out. And then you repeat that for all of them. So put a little bit of engine oil on the O-ring, just to lube it up, and it'll slide right in. That's what, three? Yeah, this is number three. There it is. Oh, Popped right in. Yep. So much easier than the putting in yeah, yeah <laughs> putting in dry. One, two, 
two. Three and four. That should be all of them. That's in now. Make sure they all pop in. Now come back. Grab your screw and scratch it. Yep, and that's all it takes. Come back over here. Uh, grab your ground. Put it on your knees. This is going to decide your ground on. Don't forget your ground wire. If I can get it on, it would be nice. There it is. Make sure it's tight and just go back and plug in all the injectors. And you should be done with one side. All right, so there's one side done, and right there you can see the old injectors and the new ones. The old ones are 19 years old. These are from factory 2001, and this one I replaced last summer because my car was misfiring. I wanted to change all the injectors last summer, but I just didn't have the money until recently. And I tried to, I actually ordered these two and a half months ago, but they sent me the wrong adapters. So I had to send it back and wait another month for them to set, send them. They were on, it was a little bit delayed because of all the corona stuff going on. But all right, you can see the new ones. So let's get back to, let's start the passenger side. Passenger side's gonna be a little different. You gotta take off your intake tube, pull out your sensor, lay that off to the side, undo these band clamps. And it's gonna be a little challenging because I have this pushed up against it, so we're gonna have to wiggle that out. And now, God damn it. You gotta wiggle this out. It's gonna be terrible. Take this thing off. <sighs> Problems of the strut tower brace. Alright, let's try it. taking that one off. fall this time. Pull out your vacuum tubes. Lay those off out of the way. Uh, I really don't hope I don't have to take the strut tower brace off. Expected that to go, but I got it off. Let's put that out of the way. Roll this off. Alright, after some pulling, prying, wiggling, and fighting with that uh, band, I finally got my intake tube off. Now, next, just take off these two 7mm bolts, take off your fuel rail. Careful and don't loot, drop your screw anywhere because that would suck and take forever to get back. Put them in a nice safe spot. Same thing on the back. And it helps to have an extension. I wish I had a little longer one, but I don't at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Gosh, that was really fun. If you have the right tools, this makes it a lot easier. But I don't. I wish I had a longer extension. Careful, don't drop the screw. Yeah, and put it in a safe location. You do not want to lose that. Have to run to the auto parts store or hardware store. Put the band clamp out of the way. I'll put it on the floor with the rest of it. Same thing as the other side, just give it a slight wiggle and they should pop up one by one. Might be a little stuck, but they will come up. There it goes. Again, you're probably gonna get some fuel on the ground. No big deal, it'll burn off. Unplug them all. Now I just pull them out one by one, a little wiggle, a little pull. All right, like, look at that. That one's covered in junk. That might have been the one causing me to misfire in the first place. So they're trash. I'm just putting them out of the way on the ground next to me. Uh, yeah, you can look right there. Got a whole bunch of sand and debris in there. I'm gonna take a rag and clean that up before I put the new ones in. That's one thing you wanna do. You wanna clean up all your ports so you don't get sand and junk in your cylinders. It's a little good thing to do. There it is. Huh. Uh, that's not good. Uh, the cap isn't on that one. Alright, well, for that one. <sighs> I'm missing the cap on this one as you can see from this one it doesn't have this like round part this one's all shiny so I'm gonna go grab a pick and try and pull that out of the port the part of it right there that's definitely not all of it I still need to get the o-ring and the tip out so right there if you can see so if anything like this happens, just don't freak out, just stay calm, find a tool like a little pick, and just take your time, angle it, get in there, and just scoop it out like that. Alright, now the only thing left is to put the new ones in. Little oil on your finger, rub it on the o-ring so it goes in nice and smooth. Alright, got all four in, now you just got to line up your fuel rail, pop that them in one by one. I suggest putting it in a slight angle and work your way down. Alright guys, so I got this on. That was a little bit of a pain if you saw, but it probably cut off halfway because my SD card was full, so I had to fix that. And now everything should be on. Just go back, double check, make sure everything is tight and plugged in. And it seems like it's all alright. So next, we can't start it just yet. We have to actually go back with the tuner and put the tune on because if we start it right now, our engine will run really rich and run terrible so you gotta get a Bama performance tuner or any other tuner and get tuned because you're going from 19 to 24 pound injectors so you gotta change that. got the car running good when I first started it you guys didn't see it because I was having some problems with misfire but that was probably because I had a little bit of air in the lines a little bit of air in the lines mixed with carbon buildup and it's also been sitting for about a week which hopefully you guys can hear me it's, kinda, it's a little loud getting up the speed Uh, 
I still gotta learn the tune. It's a brand new tune, so not figure it out of it. But uh, it idled terribly. It was blowing smoke, but that's probably because all the air in the fuel line. But now it's probably idling the best it's ever idled. So let's try it out. Got the new race tune in here because my weekend driver, and I guess we'll see how it does. Let's go.